Normally Boise this time of year is in the mid 60s, but this weekend we're going to be in the high 90s. So with most pools closed around the area, where can you go to cool off? Well, stick around because I'm gonna share some great spots with you coming up. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell. I post new videos every Friday and I wouldn't want you to miss a thing. My name is Rebel Ann Mueller and I'm a realtor here in the Boise and Treasure Valley area with Better Homes and Gardens, 43 degrees North Real Estate. I moved here 16 years ago with my family from California, seeking a better quality of life. And now I'm lucky enough that I get to help others do the same. So if you are interested in relocating to the area, down below in this video, there's a link to a relocation guide. Click that link and it'll go straight to your inbox. Now, today we are talking about some record breaking temperatures that we're going to be experiencing here. Uh, normally we are somewhere in the mid sixties this time of year. But this weekend, and today actually, today I'm filming on Thursday for tomorrow's video, it's gonna be 91 degrees. Now, I am not ready for this at all. <laughs> um, you normally kind of spring sort of gently brings us into those high temperatures, but I feel like we're going from some 70s directly right into the 90s. Um, tomorrow, Friday, the day that this is going to be going live, it's supposed to be 96 degrees, and then on Saturday, 98 degrees. But don't worry, our weather here is a little bipolar, so by next Saturday, we're supposed to be back down to 69 degrees, which is about average for this time of year. So the first park I'm gonna share with you is Esther Simplot Park in Quinn's Pond. It is a really cool newer park in downtown Boise. It's along um, the Boise River and the Greenbelt. So you do have Greenbelt access there. So if you wanted to ride your bikes there, you could, or you could bring your bikes there and like start from that destination if you wanted to. There's fishing, there's paddle boarding, there's reservations. So you can rent the pavilion there. Um, it's located at 30, 3206 West Pleasanton Avenue in Boise. Um, there's a playground there as well, and they have great uh, facilities for restrooms and whatnot. They are asking that people do practice social distancing at the moment, but they are open. So that is one place where you can go and cool off. All right, and the number two place that I would share with you, of course, would be the Boise River. So right now you can go take advantage of the cool waters that are flowing down the Boise River. However, the river is close to floating, so no floating yet. Um, they do go along and clean up all the debris that built up during winter to make sure that it's safe for everybody to float. So they haven't declared it open yet, but I'm sure they will soon. So um, that is number two to go along the Boise River. You can uh, find a place along the Greenbelt to park and walk along the Greenbelt and find a place along the river because the Greenbelt does run along the river. Um, or you can just simply park in maybe Ann Morrison Park or Esther Simplot Park around there and then go to the river from there. So one thing we do like around here is our splash pads. And in Meridian, there's a couple. There's Settlers Park, there's Julius Kleiner Park. In Boise, there's Comba Park and there's the Boise Center on the Grove in downtown where they also have a splash pad there. They have one in Bora Park. In Eagle, you can go to Reed Merrill Park, which is a cute little park um, that also has Greenbelt access. There's Gerber Park that's on Hill Road. Out in Nampa, there's Lakeview Park and Lions Park. So lots of opportunities to take advantage of those splash pads. And number four, as long as everything continues to move forward with the reopening of Idaho and phase three, that means that Roaring Springs is gonna be opening. So Roaring Springs is a water park here with water slides and a lazy river that everybody uh, loves to take advantage of during the summer. So May 30th is the official opening date as long as everything goes as planned. And one of the last places I wanted to share with you is Sandy Point Beach. It's located up by Lucky Peak, just below the reservoir. It's um, about maybe a 10 minute drive, if that, from Boise up Highway 21. 
and there's a large sandy beach there. There's a large water feature um, that's in this large pond area. You can bring your paddle boards, you can swim, you can bring a picnic. There are picnic tables and there's trees with some shady areas there too. So those are my places that I wanted to share with you where you can go cool off when the weather is getting hot this weekend. Well, if you didn't already know about some of those spots, now you do. And hopefully you'll go take advantage of them this weekend and this summer. Don't forget, if you are interested in relocating to the area, down below is that relocation guide. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will see you next Friday.